Well, I'm here with Nathan. First of all, let me give you a big hug because Nathan's workmates have well and truly stitched you up, haven't you? Absolutely, they have, yeah. <laughs> there we go. They all volunteered in sorts. However, you are very passionate about this, so I think this is going to be fun. You're going to have some fun, and they'll all owe you a pint. Absolutely, if you say so. We'll do our best. So tell us all about NASCO then. Mas Masco, Masco, beg your pardon. So that's a good start. Can we just testing you. No, we're all, <laughs> we're all live. Tell us about yeah. Masco then, because you've got a very exciting yeah. stand, which we're going to go and explore in a moment. But in a nutshell, what do you do? Yeah, well, we're a fabricator and we are basically support and provide um, products to um, retail installers in the B2B market who deal with the local consumer. And the whole idea is we've got a rebrand going on, as you can see behind us. And today and the next two days is all about actually demonstrating the new rebrand and how we can bring it as a one-stop shop from retailer through to installer from delivering the products out and supporting them with all their marketing, e-commerce, online, literature, showroom support. And you've gone for the interactive vibe, haven't you? Because have. you are a techie man, well, your background is tech. Allegedly. Do you want to come and show us yeah. what's going on in here? We've also got two levels, which is very exciting to me. It's the first two level stand that we've seen so far. What have we got in here? A couple of iPads? So what we have, we've got, in fact, I'll, I'll take you around this side. Here we go, can you come round here? <laughs> it's too quick. Sorry, interactivity of um, how we can demonstrate. We've got one of the industry leading products whereby we can actually build and uh, demonstrate window door design. So we can actually superimpose any sort of any sort of uh, color design, design the door, change the color, change the frames, the finishing. Oh, no, I like that color. Um, We're seeing a lot of that here. Is this, is this very on trend then? This sort of, I don't know what you'd yes. call it. It's almost like, I don't know, turquoisey blue. It is, yeah. Um, so we've got lots of different types of interactivity for new marketing support and material. And we're also launching our new partnership scheme, which basically is uh, we can have new retail installers come to us and be part of the Safe Choice Partnership, whereby they can take advantage of all of the types of marketing support you see on the wall uh, here. And that's really it. So what we do, we're finding someone to take Don't you through. Don't be so modest, that's yeah. really it. That's, that's it for the interactive, interactive you yeah. mean. There's lots going on here. We've even got popcorn. We've got popcorn, we've got hot dogs later It's a deal breaker. You know, hospitality upstairs as we're on a two-floor mezzanine. So, yeah, lots and lots going on. Well, thank you very much for your time. I think you did fantastically well, considering yeah. your mates pushed you into it. Absolutely. But he's not off the hook. I'm going to no, go and see your colleague. Here. here we go. Hayden, nice to meet Hi. you. I'm Nikki. Pleased to be here, Nikki. Tell us all about what's going on here, what products are you displaying, and what well, can we see? We've, we're doing the composite doors. So our company, Phoenix Doors, part of the Masco UK Window Group. Um, and uh, we have... Uh, we're making a lot of doors in uh, Cambridgeshire. We make about 500 a week. Uh, we also make PVC door panels, which we make 1,300 a week. 1,005 on a good week. A salesman's figure, that one. Uh, but uh, yeah, the composite doors are GRP. They're not PVC faced, okay. which means they don't bend. GRP, you're going to have to explain that to me. I'm a newbie here. A glass reinforced plastic. There we go. I'm learning something new. What it means is, though, it doesn't move and expand with heat. Right. So your doors don't bubble, bow. Uh, they, they stay where they are. I'm with you. Well, the trouble we have with, with BBC, it does move with temperature. So uh, you don't want that uh, because, um, you know, I, I don't know if you've ever um, had plastic guttering on your house and on a sunny, sunny Sunday morning when you're lying in bed waiting for your cup of coffee and the sun comes out from behind a cloud and you hear click, 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 clack, 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 clack. Ah. The same, okay. happen, the same happens to pvc faced composite doors. Okay, now I'm a visual girl, so let's go oh. and see some of these doors. Come on, this is your this is your chance to show off. Where are we going? I Here love this are. colour. Right. What do we call this? Uh, I, well, it's Chartwell Teal. Green. This colour is called Chartwell Green. Oh, Chartwell but green. We, we can spray the doors in any colour you want. So as long as you give us an REL number, REL number being a pretty standard colour, we'll do it to whatever you want. Uh, the thing with the, the doors is, is choice. We don't want people to have, uh, you know, this is what we do and everyone's picking from the same thing. It's individual, you build the door to the specification that you want, um, you know, because if somebody says to you, oh, look at that house over there, what's the first thing you look at? The door. The door, exactly. Very important. Exactly, so it is. And, you know, um, in Germany, uh, people will spend £3,000 on their front door quite without, you know, without even thinking about it. Really? Um, this one's not going to be as much as that, but you can. it's totally individualised. We make everything as a company. We make the glass, so if you chose that door and you made it blue, the colours in the glass will become blue. Uh, we can colour the frames. This one's in cream. And, um, you know, it, it's an individual personalised product. It's certainly making a statement, isn't it? What about your bestseller? Have you got anything you can show us here? Perhaps you, you shift a lot of. Um, the... I haven't got a major product that everybody focuses on. And I have to say, the product range is very broad and it's very difficult to say, oh, well, you know, that's my... 
I know. suppose that's the beauty of what you do then, because you, it is so individual. People yeah. kind of style it to their their family, you know, their house, the area, something that says something about them. We, we set our stall out for the a homeowner to specify and make their own product. I am not, don't want to go into, as I said, doing where all the glass is the same, you go into the road and everyone's got the same door in it. This is not, this is, this is very much for the replacement market. Um, so if you're a homeowner, you, you bought a house um, and some of the quality of the new build doors don't last a long time, then you're looking for your replacement. Uh, with the PVC frame, you don't have to paint it, you just fit it and forget it. It's got a 10 year guarantee on it and it'll look as good in 10 years time as it does when you fit it out. You just wash it with soapy water. It, I'm intrigued though. Tell me about your front door at home then. Have you got one of these fancy ones? I what does your front door say I, about you? I was going to say, I was going to say, I, I haven't got a particularly fancy one, but I do have one of these doors on. Oh, they are, which colour did you go for? I went for the wood grain effect like this. Now this is nice. This is quite, this is quite traditional, I would say, though, isn't well, this it? This is very cottagey, okay. um, and it's a stable door. So nice. it, yeah, and. Um, like yeah, hang on. Door. Hang on. I, have, I have to go around the other side for okay, that. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Well, we'll stay around here, and then he can peep through and show us. This is very nice. Now, there, there was I just thinking that was a nice design feature. I didn't actually realise. So, is this what you do? Is this how you greet your neighbours in the morning yes, well, or postman? Uh, if you're a cottage, if it was a cottage, this could be your front door. Majority of them tend to be back doors because you can put a cat flap and dog flaps in them, um, which are, a lot of the back doors there have cat flaps, dog flaps in. But uh, the. This is again back to the individualization, you know, and not everybody wants one, but once you have one, they always tell me, once you've had a stable door on the back of your house, you'll never want to go back again. Never go back. It's fantastic, isn't it? Who knew? I am very excited about this. And before I leave you, tell us about your feelings so far about the Fit Show. Is it your first time here? Uh, it's the, uh, yes, as an exhibitor. Yeah, I came last year. Um, as you can tell me, I'm not exactly uh, in my 20s still. I've done a lot of shows, and I have to say the Fit Show is... You know, it's got a lot of people going through. Uh, it's what the industry needed. Um, I've been earning a living out of the industry since 1981, um, and I've watched the uh, exhibition sort of peter out. This has got life into it, spark back into it. People are coming in, and it, it's like the old days. It's that is what we want to hear. What's the magic ingredient then about Fit Show? What makes it a little bit different to other shows? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that because they never got the people through the doors before. You're getting people through the doors, and that's what we want. We want a showpiece for our industry, and you're doing it. I think I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much for your time. I am loving your doors and I, I'm loving this little pose here, poking out of the Very top. Advice <laughs> to you, not a problem. There we go. Little plug there for you. Uh, we'll wrap up here and find out what else is going on here at Fit Show.